Hello Scorpio, welcome to Ascending Without Wings. My name is Raina and this is your reading for the week of the 11th through to the 17th of February 2019. Sorry, mental blank there. Um, so yes, as I always say, please feel free to like, share or subscribe if you would like to. That is up to you. Um, I'm just going to see what cards that we have this week for you. First card that's fallen out is the Prince of Discs. This is the Knight of Pentacles in the Novel Tarot. So very nice. The keyword here is pragmatic. Second card out. Ooh, the star. Very nice. So let's see what else we have. And then I'll have a check with you about what I'm getting from them. Okay. And a fire sign could be significant in this. So we have the King of Wands, and then we've got the Two of Wands, which may be in the dress. I'll oh, check that before I go in. There's our cards. Okay, Scorpio. So, this looks interesting. Okay, okay, you're welcome. I got all the correct cards. Should this be in yours? Nope. Oh, right. I'm in the correct order. Okay, thank you. Okay, so <clears throat> let us check this out. So we have the Prince of Discs. As I said, in this card, it's very different to. Sorry, I felt like there were two cards there. Um, but it's very different to the normal Rider Waite Terror. Um, these are very, very spiritual cards, and they're using sacred ge geometry and some quite ancient um, wisdom that's like to do with the tree of life and Kabbalah and things like that. So different from Kabbal, the bad guys, no, Kabbalah. <laughs> okay, very ancient wisdom. Um, but he's got the flower of life pattern there and this prince is holding the world in his hands. He is the prince of pentacles. He is very slow to make moves. Um, like he's the slowest moving knight in the deck as well. But he's a prince in this particular case. And the word at the top is pragmatic. He's quite grounded. He knows what he's doing. He's in this world, but not of it. Okay, quite um, ahead of their time, almost. It's a quite an immature energy um, prince. But I feel like he's uh, wise beyond his years, I just heard. So someone that, you know, it doesn't matter how old they are in the physical body aspect, but they seem to have quite an old soul and they're quite um, evolved and spiritual from a higher consciousness but there's also one two three four five six seven um butterflies flying around here we've got purple so that's like crown chakra third eye we've got throat chakra we've got um higher heart chakra even and <laughs> we've got heart chakra we've got solar plexus so yeah all of the chakras colors are represented there so to me, that's kind of someone that's got balanced chakras, very in tune with their own energy body and with the world around themselves. So I believe this is somebody around you or you could be embodying these um, energies yourself. So just place it where it fits, I guess. Um, all right, moving on to the next card, one of the most beautiful cards. And this has been coming up for a few readings. So I feel like there's a lot of healing going on, some deep level of soul healing going on between now and the full moon that's coming on the 19th or 20th. <laughs> there's some deep stuff going on guys um you know ch chakra is being upgraded and expanded i feel um this to me there's a massive almost green orb that's like massive, massive expanded heart chakra energy right there for me um and you know she's actually like in mid-air she's in the atmosphere above the surface of the earth as well and she's putting one cup of water up towards the sun and one towards the earth. So it's a very balanced energy. There's a lot of deep healing going on and there's a lot of strengthening of faith going on this week, I feel. Um, and maybe it's because you're finding, like, tuning into your more grounded, more stable aspects of yourself. Or this could be, you know, somebody in your energy that's embodying these energies and it's kind of soothing you and making you feel more balanced and calm as well. Because both of these cards have a lot of green. I feel like that ties in together especially when they're sitting next to each other, <laughs> they kind of almost um, mirror each other slightly. A horizontal and vertical aspect. Funny. Okay. <clears throat> so that, I said funny because it's, you know, that saying, as above, so below, as within, so without. Um, 
there's always balance of the polarities that we're surrounded by. But this is the card of Aquarius. So, you know, Aquarius is an air sign. Um, so this could do with uh, a lot of the stuff, like your thoughts and the words that have been spoken between you and friends, family, partners, whoever. But things that have been said in anger or with a harsh tongue, shall we say, um, can leave a mark and they can stay with you. So I feel like the healing that's going on here might have something to do with that, especially when I notice Aquarius just now. Um, so I don't know, but take that energy where it fits. I like this reading, Scorpio. And you guys are my biggest viewers as well. I have to give you guys that credit. Like, I always get the most views of the Scorpio videos. Um, and it's my rising sign, so I totally feel for you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on. So the next card we have is the King of Wands. Once again, sacred geometry, but this king of wands is off on a mission. He's flying on a horse that looks like he's made of either water or air kind of element almost. And he's a fire element king. So it says audacious here. Somebody who is very, very passionate, quite mature, quite assertive. They know, they're comfortable in their own skin. They know themselves in and out. Um, this is a divine masculine energy and you know the audacious aspect it's the awakened masculine as well um but they're very very assertive they're you know very much a masculine energy this one um so this could be a male or a female that's embodying this this could even be you you know shifting through these energies you're being the prince of pentacles and then going through this healing and then you're embodying your king of one's energy where you're very very assertive you're almost you know ready for battle at the drop of a hat, that you do not shy away from battle. Um, very strong, very secure in themselves, in their masculinity. Um, so I like, I like it a lot. And there's a bit of lightning, golden lightning flying around everywhere. So it's kind of electrified air. This is, you know, it's almost like the universe conspiring with you, getting so excited and charged up about the mission, or the, the path that you're on, that it's kind of, almost like supporting you and uplifting you like i feel like the way he's you know traveling the lightning bolts are kind of traveling with him and they're kind of supporting him and they're propelling him along uh, yeah it's beautiful it's like this whatever it is whatever path you are whatever mission you're on the universe is so excited about it and so into it that it's supporting you and it's going along for the ride and it's adding its own little sparkle when it can um it's almost like dancing with nature or with the universe i feel like it's you know you, synchronicity they say is almost like quite synchrony um, serendipitous <laughs> and very magical and ooh, um i feel like you're kind of very much in your fire element even though you're a water sign you might have fire in your chart somewhere um so yeah i feel like either this is you or somebody around you and i feel like this could be somebody coming towards you this could be, if you're a twin flame, this could be your divine masculine or your divine feminine counterpart, most certainly. The reason why I say that, because after that, we've got the two of wands. And in this deck, the two of wands says Genesis. It is the beginning of something very, very exciting. This could be the beginning of a collaboration or like a joint venture of a spiritual business, a non-spiritual business even, some sort of collaboration. Or oh, some sort of, um, yeah, joint venture. Um, sorry guys, it's quite late here at the moment and I'm kind of hearing my, um, track in the background and going, yes, I'm an owl, what can I say? Um, uh, <laughs> okay, so yes, as I was saying, Genesis, but these two ones that are clashing, it's the masculine symbol and the Aries symbol. So... It is definitely very significant for Aries, but two of ones, it's kind of like taking action, stepping forward, moving forward on whatever path, whatever plan that you have, because you are finally in your element and you're all fired up and you're feeling very supported by the universe. So you have no more dice and you're ready to go along this path and journey to wherever it's taking you. I like it. Okay, so after the two of ones, we've got three of cups and this one says abundance so notice how the three figures are blue pink and gold we've got 
masculine energy, feminine energy, Christ consciousness energy, or you know, divine energy. It's, most of the time you white light yourself, it's golden white light. Um, so I really feel that. But also if you're going divine masculine, divine feminine, and the third energy that they create when they come into union. And I know I'm going to have a few twin flames watching this reading going. I know. <laughs> okay. There are twin flame themes coming up in all of my readings at the moment. And I am one as well, so I can understand how it's popping up. Um, but the Three of Cups is about a celebration. These three people or energies coming together for a celebration, it's a very happy and joyous and positive thing. They're surrounded by abundance. There's fruits and lush, beautiful environment. You know, they're outdoors in nature. It's very fertile, very abundant, very um, happy. There's just a very blissful kind of loving energy here. And I really love it. And also, you've got Father God, Mother God, and us, the individual, the soul, whatever. Um, that can also be symbolized if this is not about twin flames coming into union. This is just you balancing your own masculine and feminine energy so that you can come into more balance within yourself and tune into your higher power, tune into the guidance that you're getting, tune into the things that you're meant to do on your life path. Because I know all of the people that are seeing these readings are all pretty much light workers or on some sort of a spiritual path. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I rarely get a reading that's not for a spiritual person. So just put it out there, universe. And also, once again, three, Christ energy. Okay, 33 is a Christ consciousness number, but three is Christ and ascended masters. It's the same thing. It's golden light. You know, their auras are golden. Um, if you see your light body in the astral form, whatever the color that is, that's, you know, the gold energy is the Christ consciousness energy. Um, it's also the gold flame. I won't get into it. I don't know enough about it to be able to explain it properly. So I won't try to sound like, I won't try to sound like I'm talking about something I know too much about because I don't. I'll own that. <laughs> okay, Scorpio, the last card that we have. Now, you and Aquarius are very strong in your own readings this week. Aquarius ended their reading with a card representing themselves and you, my dear Scorpio, are doing exactly the same thing. Unfortunately, the card is the Five of Cups, which in this Five of Cups, in normal traditional Five of Cups, it's about, oh, okay, I've spilled um, three cups that had so much love that I had poured into them, and I'm going, I'm sad here, and I'm looking at them that they've spilled. In this card, we've drank all of the cups dry, and we're in a barren desert. You're so deprived of love that you, you know, milk dry every drop of love that comes into your life. And then when you don't have love in your life, it's kind of like, oh my God, I'm lost. I have nothing. I, where did it all go? But guess what? You're the one that guzzled it all up. You emptied it yourself. So I feel like there's a sense of taking responsibility for whatever emotional um, conflicts I just heard or upheaval that may have come into your life. You know, in a relationship, it takes two to tango, my friend. So there is no relationship that is one-sided. Um, and if there's equal give and take and there's mutual respect and love, it will work. If there isn't, you'll pick up an energy like this um, where you're feeling at a loss for the love that was once there. But if you're both not trying and meeting each other halfway, then how on earth is a relationship going to survive? Or, you know, stay above water as the saying is, I guess. Okay, so that was... Your little reading, Scorpio. Now I'm going to try and shuffle these lovely Heart and Soul Oracle cards. Luckily, I have big hands. I can enjoy my What? <laughs> I don't have to say much, do I? Okay, we've got three cool cards. I'm just going to pull some... I'm going to pull all your Oracle cards, and then I will... Okay. We've got two goddess guidance cards and I'll pull some Archangel Michael cards as well. And 
we'll check these first before I get carried away. Okay, all of these cards here are correct for Scorpio. Thank you. All right. As I always do, I'm going to start off with the Heart and Soul Oracle. That is the deck that I'm dealing with here. So, this lovely card says, You are a beautiful soul. Look within and you will see it. There is a pearl in your heart. Close your eyes and feel it. The most precious thing is inside you. Calm your mind, meditate, and you will feel your soul's infinite spiritual realm. In looking within, you will never go without. Wow. Horizontal, vertical, as within, so without, as above, so below. This is why I love doing readings, because the messages always get confirmed with the oracle cards in the end. This is a really beautiful card. <laughs> it says, it time, it's time to step into your power and create an enchanted world. It can be if you want it to be. For just as the oak tree is hidden in its seed, so too is the god or the goddess hidden within you. Reason devoid of feeling is simply harsh judgment. So listen to your heart also and move to beyond the boundaries that you have placed around yourself. Self-limiting beliefs will get you nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Another gorgeous card. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so it says, A beautiful inspired idea floats through pathways of light, waiting for the right moment to enter your mind and heart. This wonderful idea that stems from your soul will grow and blossom if you nurture it. Keep it safe within your inner world until it is ready to manifest in your outer world. A period of great fulfillment and accomplishment follows. Wow. Just being in the flow and allowing. Beautiful. Okay, so the first goddess guidance card we have is Saraswati, the arts. So express yourself through creative arts. Journaling. Writing, whether it's songs, poems, anything, just getting your head out, <laughs> getting all the jumble thoughts out of your head and onto paper can be really, really helpful. Just expressing your feelings in writing can be quite helpful, whatever way, shape, or form that you do that. And whether that's art, drawing, sketching, painting, whatever it may be. Um, you know, when you are in the flow, when you're doing something creative, it's like a moving meditation. It really is quite blissful and it does take you away. You kind of drift away and detach from your body in a conscious sense, but you're still there. You're very alert, but it's like, it's a state of flow. <laughs> I know people talk about it. State of flow. How do you do the whole, you know, also consciousness. We all do it all the time. We just do it subconsciously without realizing we get comfortable. We get into a, you know, comfortable state of mind and relaxed in our environment. and Bang, you're in a state of flow. You just don't tune into it. So the first card from Archangel Michael is you and your loved ones are safe. So this prayer says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones, and you can name specific individuals. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. Very nice, Scorpio. Next one is... <laughs> romance angels are helping you yes twin flames they are helping us i see 42 all the time and 142 all the time as well and i'm like thank you angels okay so this says dear guardian angels of my soulmate thank you for preparing my soulmate and i for love for for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. Well, <laughs> thank you, Archangel Michael. I'm sure there's lots of Scorpios out there going, yeah, I'm gonna repeat that. Pause that video now, I must repeat it. <laughs> okay, and the last card from Archangel Michael is you are on the right path. I love Archangel Michael. He the man. So this card, the prayer says, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. Amen. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me. Um, excellent. This reading wasn't actually that long, which is fantastic. I'm trying to make them a lot shorter um, because they are done on a weekly basis and I don't not to go too crazy unless it's a major full moon and this coming full moon i feel like there might be a long reading so i'll get started early <laughs> since i'm already feeling the energy 
So thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next week.